We were driving down the road. We were having a great conversation. Anna was fine. And all of a sudden, um, she says, Mom, and she passed out. I realized she wasn't moving, so I pulled over and I was right near a neighborhood, not too far from our house, and we called 911. They cooled my body so that everything could just like sleep, and it was a uh, cooling. I think my body temperature went down to 90 degrees, and they started that here at Anne Arundel. 24 to 30 hours, and then they gradually warmed the body up, her body up. And that's when they said they were going to know if she was going to come out of it and without any brain damage. And it was a gradual waking up. And the first response was um, amazing when my husband and I were on either side of her. And when she looked at me like she couldn't talk, of course, because the respirator was still in and her tears ran down her eyes looking at me. And I kept just talking to her and saying, you're going to be OK. The hospital, the whole team, the whole staff, everyone we we met up with were fantastic. They were so gracious and so kind and so considerate of our feelings and also for the care for her. She was cared for really, really well. I teach high school, 9th through 12th grade art, um, photography, painting and drawing at Annapolis High School. Part of the thing was, why did this happen to me? I was healthy. I didn't smoke. I, I wasn't a heavy drinker. I exercised. I think it's just really, and especially for women, to pay attention to your body and to go to the doctor because women present differently than men in heart attacks and heart problems. So I just challenge mothers and women to really think. And if you don't feel well, don't put it off. Take care of yourself because you need to be here for your families and yourself.